an insight into drug development and clinical trials. Clinical trials are research studies which look at potential new drugs to treat or improve quality of life for those with health conditions, such as Huntington's disease. Results from clinical trials help us to better understand conditions like Huntington's disease. All the drugs and measures we have today were made possible because people volunteered for clinical trials. First though, in order to have a clinical trial, you must have a drug to test. Making drugs is complex work. Drug companies start with setting a goal for a drug to achieve, such as reducing mutant Huntington in people with Huntington's disease, and will work with researchers to think of ways to achieve the drug's goal. Once we have a target, drugs can be developed. This can be done in a few ways. Some of the drugs we use today are from natural products. Others are created in labs to have a specific chemical compound. Large drug companies might also use something called high-throughput screening, where robotics and automation are used to quickly test thousands of different compounds to try and find ones that may be successful in reaching the drug's goal. These approaches can give you thousands of potential drug compounds that then need to be further investigated through preclinical research. Preclinical research is when potential drugs are tested in computer models, cells and animals to assess how effective the drug is. Of the thousands of potential drug treatments tested in preclinical research, only a few will make it to the next stage, applying for approval for human trials. Before a drug can be tested in human trials, a drug company must apply for approval with the governing body, such as the Food and Drug Administration (FDA) in the US. Bodies like the FDA will carefully review all the information about the drug before approving it for human trials. Now the drug is ready for human trials. Before the trial can start, some criteria will likely be put in place for who can enter and decisions will be made about whether to do a single or double-blinded study. Usually a placebo drug will be given to some participants and the real drug to others to provide comparisons. A single-blinded study means that the patient won't know if they're on the placebo or the real drug, but the clinic workers will. Whereas a double-blinded study means that both the patients and the clinic or drug company won't know who is taking the placebo or the real drug. This is done to try and avoid bias. Each human trial starts with phase one, which is usually done on a very small group of healthy people, around 20 to 100, where in our case no one has Huntington's disease. But sometimes phase one is done on people with Huntington's. Phase one is all about safety, just testing if the drug is safe to use in humans and looking for any side effects it might be causing. If phase one goes smoothly, then they will move on to phase two studies are done with more participants, usually a few hundred, with people who have Huntington's disease. Phase two will test the drug's safety, effectiveness, and what dosing is best. If phase two is a success, then we move to phase three, which is done with a larger number of participants than phase two, who have Huntington's disease around the world. Phase 3 is similar to Phase 2 in that it is testing for safety and how effective the drug is, but the larger number of participants on the drug for a longer amount of time means researchers can collect huge amounts of information they can use to see if the drug is working. Throughout the trial, there will be independent review committees who have access to all the information from the trial, and they can halt a trial if something doesn't look right or if a drug is not showing enough impact to be used. If Phase 3 is successful, then the drug is submitted for approval from the governing body of that region of the world. In the US, with the FDA, it is called a New Drug Application NDA. All the information gained from the trials is sent in the application, and then some time is taken by the governing body to review if the drug should be approved or not. Once approved, the drug is essentially available for the public, but access may still be an issue. For a drug to be available in your region of the world, it must be approved by your governing body. For example, if a drug is approved by the FDA in the US, then it is only available to those in the US and would need to be approved by other governing bodies to become available in more regions of the world. This doesn't mean each country needs to do their own trial on the drug, only the original trial is needed, but it means that each governing body has to approve the drug, which takes time. It may not be approved or it might end up being too expensive for a government to approve it on their healthcare. Once a drug is available in a region and being used by the public, there is a fourth phase, which is called post-market surveillance, which means the drug is still monitored by the FDA and others see if any issues or side effects might be occurring that should be looked at. 
clinical trials are vital to understanding Huntington's disease and finding treatments that will help. We hope you have found this video useful and thank you to our sponsors for this video.